Hey yo, what up people? It's your boy Woquilly hanging out with the one and only Cape Verde's champion, Polish two times champion M MVP El Conda, Ivan Almeida. What up? What up, baby? It's your boy. <laughs> what up, Woquilly? What you doing? The truth? Man, you know, I'm all smiles right now, man. You know, somehow I was going through the net and all that, and I came across a lot of your stats. We're going to have to talk about that, Mr. Champion, the champion himself. You know, I'm I'm here hanging out with a champ, man. You know, I got to brag about stuff like this. I'm hanging out with the champ. The champ is here, the MVP. <laughs> we got some other issues to talk about, some hot, hot stuff. Okay. That just I came out. Okay. And I know Have it's really, really... It? It's really, really important. I kind of did, but I know you got more info. So please Ooh. break the news. Break the news. Just coming from FIBA, FIBA announced uh, the game against Guinea Equatorial in uh, Cameroon. Uh, so Guinea lost that game because um, he failed to, to follow the COVID-19 protocols for the yeah, qualifiers. Yeah. So they came in late. That game, yep, they came in late. So that game, boom, canceled. Cameroon won. So cover for for Guinea Equatorial. But FIBA decided to go another route with the Uganda national team. Uganda national team will play in June or July at a date to be defined. So all the national teams will have to travel to a place for a week spend more money in another window to go play one game. Whoa, 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 whoa. Morocco, Slow down. Cape Verde and Egypt, they got to all travel to play one game against Uganda in a week window okay. in June or July. Okay, actually, I would say this is kind of good news. If I was from Uganda, I would say this is great news. But yes. let's be realistic here. I do know that a lot of African federations, a lot of teams do not have that kind of money. In addition to that, we're talking about the health factor right now, traveling and all that. Those are just more chances for players to get sick or something like that. And in exactly. addition to that, players are playing all over the world right now. So you mean to tell me now they got to cancel some of their plans? Some because of their vacations of on June because one team Go ahead, break it down. I'm, and, well, it's not even breaking it down. These are just questions. You know, I'm looking for answers. It's not like I'm stating something. These are questions. Yeah. I'm asking questions. So since I really don't have the full picture, or oh, I thought maybe you did because I think, you know what? I think Uganda deserves to be in it. So if you ask me, I would say if they really want Uganda to be in there, why don't they just squeeze Uganda into the Afro basket instead of making all these other teams also come in? Because it doesn't make sense at all. It doesn't make sense in my head. I would love for Uganda to be there. I really want Uganda to be there. But it doesn't make sense having so, all those team travel just yeah. for one game. But but this is what I don't get though. Somehow, Guinea Equatorial broke the rules. I mean, broke the rules for the qualifiers, which means they arrived late, so the test wasn't there. But so they the forfeited. They, have, they forfeited. Right. One game, and then you have Uganda in the same place. They basically had people test positive, which is wow. the same thing. But Guinea Equatorial just didn't have people test positive. They just came in late. So, okay, so, May, you know, maybe I shouldn't overreact first. I'm asking you because I don't understand yeah, all the I'm, rules. I'm so. asking too because I want to I wanna understand this and I don't know where FIBA coming from, you know, with all this uh, one team that was there late, so they don't play, so they forfeit. And then one team comes in, test, pos test positive, because we had te people who tested positive when we went to the first qualifier. And they couldn't play. play seven players. Right. Yeah. We just had to ball out, you know. We were right. at disadvantage. We even had a player on spot that could have joined the national team because he was uh, playing in Egypt at the time, which is Will Tavares, the, the point guard, but FIBA didn't let him in, in the bubble. So, I mean... Knowing that we had okay. injuries and stuff. Right, so, so that so means some teams me, had to play with a disadvantage and they got the record that they got because yes. they had a disadvantage because of that. Wow, yes. this is a tough one. This is a really tough That's one. It. Well, I, yeah. 
Like Guinea Equatorial had a disadvantage. They came in late, even though you know how hard it is to travel in Africa. Not making excuses for the national team, right? But this is the situation we were talking about. You said no excuses. This is the yeah. Protocol. I did say that. I did say that. I, I do recall right? that. I was like, you already know you're supposed to be there at a, at a specific time. Why are you late? I did say that. I remember saying that. You already know. Wow. The competition. COVID is around the world, so you have to have players prepared to join you there if something happens. Wow. Wow. We right? got to get more. Yeah, this is, a, this is a tough one, man. We got to get somebody from FIBA, man. We got to get somebody from yes. FIBA to explain this one. This is a tricky one. Wow. 